Yo, oh, this is Brother Hot Tim coming to you live and direct. I am right now sitting on the porch of my brother Allende's house. We are kicking it tonight. Um, and uh, uh, I had the opportunity to run into my brother uh, Shady Dons. And we're going to uh, have a little conversation, live conversation. So, you know, um, we, we, we've been sipping a little bit. We done had some ambrosia. We done had some, some other things. I'm flowing through our system, and we're going to have a conversation amongst men about nation building and the things that are going on in the world and wherever it takes us. So, first things first, um, I want Mr. Shady Dons to introduce him, himself to you because I know him in another phase of his life. We're in a different phase of his life, and I want everybody to be able to know who he is and where we are. Go ahead. Blessed beloved, the Shady Dons here, live and direct. And the first thing I want to say is that my heart, my heart breaks for you. And when I say my heart breaks for you, I'm saying that I love you. However, everything must change. So, uh, I love you is the past. Because in actuality... What's love got to do with it? If you don't watch out, then let me tell you, love is going to get you. Love's going to get you. Love, love, love's going to get you. All right, so um, tell us a little bit of, uh, uh, give us a little bit of your story. Because on GM Journey, we like to focus on the story. And who is Chatty Don? Let's, let's first, let's start with that shit right there. Let's, let's start, and, and you can cuss, but the only rule is you can't cuss more than me. Which is hard press. You, it's gonna be you're gonna be hard pressed to cuss more than me. But who is Shady Dons? Shady Dons. Shady Dons. C Haiti Dons. Uh, I'm back. And, you know, but don't call it a comeback because I've been here for years. Uh, let me first start off by telling you who all that's listening, we're winning. We are winning. Despite what you see and hear, we are winning. Don't be distracted. What you're hearing and seeing in the media right now, what you're, what you're reading in the newspaper, what you're seeing happening by the government is a distraction. And let me tell you how this story began. Many years ago, a couple of centuries ago, there was something called the Haitian Revolution. And in the Haitian Revolution, there was a voodoo priest by the name of Papo. Papo constructed the Haitian Revolution. His sire was Toussaint Leverture. Toussaint Leverture led the Haitian Revolution. From there, I mean, they won. For all those who don't know, Haiti, the country of Haiti, beat Europe, Europe, the whole Europe, the French, and everybody. But don't get it twisted. See, there was a French Revolution before the Haitian Revolution. And they had to fight for their own independence. And that's how they began to become a, a conglomerate. However, the people of Haiti... They were saying no more. Not only did you come in and murder our people, you enslaved our people, and you took our resources, and you sold it all across the globe. So there was an uprising. And believe it, believe it, believe it, beloved, they won. 
This was the first victory of people of color in the Western Hemisphere. So these people back in the late 1700s after Toussaint Leverture was sought out and captured and taken back to France and executed the rest of the militia they dispersed they went from Cuba to Jamaica Puerto Rico Louisiana and Florida now this is the early 1800s from there they joined forces with the Navajo, the Chippewa Native Americans and Asians and what we know as Mexicans this is the early 1800s and from here you had something that was being developed called the Underground Railroad. They were leaving in droves from the south headed, heading north. Okay? This is a history that is not in our history books and it's not even talked about in our colleges. Sometimes it's not even talked about in our HBCUs. Because if you knew who you really were and what would really happen, it would have changed your mentality on how you have to survive and how you have to live and how you have to love one another. But you can't love one another unless you love yourself and this was the message that was being told to the United States African American back in the early 1800s that changed their mentality and changed their psychology it just so happens that my great grandmother <laughs> was a Haitian woman, a Haitian and a Native American woman. And she would wrap me when I was a child in this quilt. This quilt, I didn't know at the time, was very significant to our history. And everybody treated her like she was crazy so as a child, I didn't have the kind of respect I should have had. But I, over the years, I remember her lessons, her parables that she would teach me. Because I come from a dysfunctional family. We, we backbited, we hated, we manipulated, we were dispersed. I have many brothers and sisters by different women. I am the only one who was allowed to know my family history. As Anna Mae would wrap me in this quilt, she would tell me about the Indinka symbols. She would tell me about the the messages, the patterns to where people of color had to move through this underground railroad to get to freedom. So, believe it or not, there would be a white person that would set a quilt out on the porch and that was to let the people traveling know you can eat there, you can eat here, don't eat over there, don't even go that direction. 
Don't go to that house. Go to that house. All through in Dinka symbols. Birds. Plants. Animals. This was like a newspaper, a radio, or some kind of blog that they did so that the, the slave capturers and overseers wouldn't know what was going on. It just so happens that I was being wrapped in one of these blankets. Or these quilts. I didn't know what was going on. I'm a nigga from the city. A kid from the hood. What's good, ma? But it stayed with me. And I wanted to know why. Why was she talking to me like this? Why was I always different from my niggas? And I'm still a nigga. Shady Dawns. All right, so let's let's take it back now. You 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 broke down a point about the whole Haiti Revolution, right? The the Haitian Revolution and the 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 spiritual man that was behind the Haitian Revolution that basically empowered uh, uh, Toussaint L'Ouverture to take over. What is is, is what's the connection with him and us and this interview right now? Because you brought all that up. Man. My birth name is Philippe Vachon Clever de P. Patrick. I am the direct descendant of Papa. So you're the descendant of the man that, in a sense, was the spiritual man that set off the whole Haitian Revolution. Because a lot of us don't, a lot of people don't understand. They honestly think that the Haitian Revolution was uh, set off uh, through the hot town. On the Giami journey! Because <laughs> he was my brother. Word. I'm safe in my brother's arms. Word, uh-oh, uh-oh. That's, that's code for some of y'all that don't know. We won't break down the code, but go ahead. Uh, <laughs> so, throughout my existence, uh, there's been upward mobility. And originally, I'm from Trenton, New Jersey. And... See, there's a lot of things that have happened over the past century or two. There has to, there had to be a strategic movement for Haitians. From Florida, there was a strong movement in Louisiana. From there, it went to Kentucky, then to the Carolinas, and you have a really strong population in New Jersey. Atlantic, Atlantic City, Newark, Elizabeth, Trenton, Camden, and then you have some settled in New York. Mm-hmm. And... A lot of things happen within New Jersey, New York, went around the World War One mm-hmm. and World War Two, and so you had then you had another movement back down south and towards the west. Because if you don't know about the 12 tribes of Israel, then let me learn you something. 
There's 12 tribes of Israel, and they're deep. And they were able to have kingdoms. They were promised kingdoms, and they had kingdoms, they had civilizations. And this is a right, this is the Fertile Crescent. What, America? This is over in Africa. Okay. Africa, the Middle East, and Mesopotamia. One of those tribes, I mean, you got the, you got the tribe of Ham, the tribe of, uh, what's that? I, think, I mean, I, there's so many, yeah, there's 12 tribes. They're, all, they're the sons of uh, Abraham. However, the, the tribe of Levi did not get a kingdom. They happened to be the priests, scribes, and they worked for their brothers, and they moved around making sure that the kingdom was successful right. economically. Culturally, spiritually, politically, and all of a sudden, there was a disbursement, and most of see the, the thing about the transatlantic slave movement. There's a lot of things that we don't know about the whole situation. You know, you would think that they they loaded up a bunch of people on boats and just drove them to the Western Hemisphere, and that's not the case at all. There were people coming over to the Western Hemisphere Way before Christopher Columbus. <laughs> right. <laughs> and uh, they was making it happen. Just what happens in the Caribbean, you had a lot of... You had a lot of people of color. Africans. And... Uh, they were already settling. They, were, they didn't have to worry about killing nobody. Just, just YouTube this stuff. They're making it more accessible right. to the information now. You can actually see some of this stuff that is being released. That wasn't being released in the 80s and 90s when I was a, a youngin' trying to learn this stuff. Right. Now it's like, okay, there's some people... From that area, releasing stuff on YouTube, you, you know, on different internet sites. Right. This is a reality. You just got to look. If you want to know who the fuck you really are, you just have to be, have the courage. To ask and to look. Now, I got a question. So, we start doing this research. How can we use this information to move us forward as a group because everybody so I, you know I have come to terms a long time ago that everybody look like me ain't necessarily me exactly me. exactly so how do we use this information once we get it to start doing some serious building because without building to me it's you know it's, it's, it's useless whether we talking about 12 tribes whether we talking about the scriptures whether we talking about how as nation builders First of all, beloved, you have to, you have to move with love. That's the first thing. I know love is hard to uh, figure out, but the first thing you have to love yourself. And when you love yourself, you realize what the Most High has bestowed upon you, and that's majesty. You're a creator. You're a creator. 
you have to be able to look at the ground and the soil and look at it because that's earth and you have to plant a seed and you plant a seed with your loved ones you plant a seed within your surroundings and you develop this seed that means nurturing water light light is knowledge wisdom understanding see right now we operate on a physical plane because that is what is instructed for us to look at and to feel however there's a metaphysical plane metaphysics B knowledge substance cause identity space time find yourself being able to master that with your loved ones your mom your dad your spouse your seeds your children your brother and sister your cousins you love them make it happen don't rely on anybody else's knowledge but your own we can do it we can do it it's, it's preordained for those out there who believe that they are conscious when you're in a conscious community you have a notion to say whatever I put out there is going to come back towards me I create what I want I build what's around me I make I make what's happened but let me learn you something you have a destiny whether you like it or not your destiny will be fulfilled If you're supposed to have a, a child by this person, you will have the child. I mean, you can be having sex, you know, for a while, but it's that one person. It's your, it's your destiny to have a child in this time period, in this space, for a particular cause. With a particular identity. And they will know things. Only if you are gracious enough you you? to give them your knowledge. Because knowledge will be bestowed upon them regardless. And they will be. However, it's, it's up to us. The parents, the vessels that they come through, because we come through each other. <laughs> we have to let them know this is who you are, and this is who you must be. Once we have that understanding. you'll start to see a redevelopment. The soil will begin to nurture the seed and the seed will grow towards the sunlight 
towards the light, towards the knowledge. We have to be diligent and sacrifices must be made in order for that seed to grow. Because it don't rain like you want it to. As a matter of fact, we are all involved in someone else's rain. I don't care if you're college educated. I don't care if you have your, your dream job. I don't care if you're hustling. You're part of someone else's rain. Rain. To be drenched. To be soaked. To drown. Peace, God. Peace, peace, God. All right. So now, so you brought it up to what we was talking about. You said the rain, and because um, I had to go in here and handle my kids, because y'all know my girls always trying to get on the radio show, because this is Giami Journey Radio. I don't have my lion roar. I don't know what the hell going on with with my phone app, but the uh, the shit will not allow me for some reason to do my shit right but class is in session so i'm sitting up here talking with c haiti dawns or shady dawns right? shady dawns shady dawns i shady keep on saying mm-hmm. right but i'm gonna lie i like to say haiti because you bring the haiti piece up because it's very important that we have to understand that the reason that haiti is in the situation is in now because haiti was the first in a sense country that was in a sense liberated Nationality Right Liberated And they was liberated In their liberation They They received the hell of the world they, It's been raining on them ever since So the piece that um, We are constantly striving I mean we got to understand Because one of the pieces I see that you You are, are, are famous for Is your initiative far as uh, Urban farming And shit like that And I want to bring it back to that So You'll see the revolution didn't just go into where you was just intellectualizing and, and doing like a lot of other people. You started growing food because you can't talk about being revolutionary if you can't feed your soldiers, if you can't feed the people. So how important is urban farming to uh, your development and to the development of our people? <laughs> wow. Wow, uh... You're on a journey. I ain't fucking around. You know what I'm saying? Because my piece is, we got to come up with solutions. All this all this other shit that we hear motherfuckers talking about, because we've been through the phases of motherfuckers philosophizing, and we've been putting this shit in action. Whether we are, whether we locked up, or, or, or whether we are in a community. We building, you know? So I'm interviewing motherfuckers that's building. You building. So please, help help bring it, bring it around to the importance of people doing things with the earth because I remember in a movie they had a movie about Buddha where your boy who played Neo was playing Buddha and one of the things he said when he finally got when he came to realization was the earth is my witness you know what I'm saying he touched the earth and all these plants start growing you did the same shit what we are today would be talked about forever and a day. You have to understand this has all be been preor- preordained. This time we're in right now that's why I told you in the beginning my heart breaks for you because I love you. The present is a gift. We are the present. We are the gift. They've been talking about us since the beginning of time. Wait, so we the ones that people been waiting for? Yes. Mm. So we the ones, we, we the children of the prophecy? Yes. 
okay. All right. Break it down, bro. Let me talk about this food. Let me talk about this food. The food. I mean, because that goes into it. Because you can't, you can't exist if you don't have sustenance. You can't, you can't fight your opposition without feeding the soldiers. Hold on, time out. You telling me that if Kro if there's no Krogers and we can't go buy the food, that we can't fight? You, you we got to grow the shit. Is that what you saying? Hell no. Go to Kroger's or save a lot talking about, yeah, I'm a revolutionary. <laughs> and, uh. They gonna give you the food? I want some food. Do you know what the food they're gonna give you? The diseased food. Do you know what they did? You know what Thanksgiving is? What is Thanksgiving? Break it down for me. Most of us don't know what Thanksgiving is. I, I actually celebrate thanks for taking. Thanks for taking the shit. That's what it is. It ain't Thanksgiving. Mate. Thanks Do you taking. know what the Native Americans did? For the colonization of people who they thought were their kindred. Stop calling people your family. They're your kindred. Sometimes your family don't even understand what's going on. At all. You love them. You want the best for them. Hell, you even pray for them. But they don't know. When Miriam, Moses, and Aaron were together, they're brothers and sisters. Do you think everything was just peachy and rosy? Nah, man. It wasn't like that. You have to understand who Moses really is. Who is he? Break it down. I mean, you got... you you. you. You got time on GM Journey, break it down. We got Nah man. Let me, Tim, let me tell you something. Yeah, Tim, let me tell you something. Go ahead, break it down. Let me tell you something. I'm trying to get you pissed off. Go ahead. This is a series about to happen. Oh, it's a series? This is a series that's about to happen. Uh, on the I'm gonna take journey. you from a freshman to a sophomore to a junior to a senior and then and then only if then you graduate. You're going to have your graduate degree. You're going to go for your graduate degree. Because there is millenniums of shit that we are, are not uh, privileged to. Uh, did you say millenniums? Millenniums. Alright, that's a commercial for those that understand, but go ahead. Go ahead. You know what I mean? So, this is series that is about to happen. Now, I want them to understand now, because prior to 2011, because we, because the food piece, we have to grow our own food in order for us to be at a level of true revolutionary. For you to be respected. Even be respected. Now, um, this brother suffered a traumatic brain injury at that time, and he went through a period, and he going, like he said, it's going to be a series, because I'm going to do some more interviews with him, but I want y'all to understand that when he's talking about, um, what he's talking about, and, and you hear it, I don't want y'all thinking that we drinking and all this shit. Now, I want y'all to understand, this brother has made a comeback. This brother has recreated himself. This brother has resurrected himself. Don't call it a comeback. I've been here for years. <laughs> okay. He, all right. He, the, the LL shit. But y'all heard him. It ain't a comeback. But I want y'all to understand. This is why I'm interviewing him. Because I want y'all to understand that it's deeper um, then um, just us sitting up here philosophizing. I want, it's deeper than that. Let me, let me use that line. You know what I'm saying? And now, so go ahead, finish what you're saying, because we on the growing the food for ourselves. We on well, whatever you want to talk about. Take us in that direction, man. Go ahead. It's, it's your it's it's your time. See, right now, beloved, whether you know it or not, we are in a food crisis. We've been in a food crisis for decades. However, you don't even know about it because your food is processed. Half of the shit ain't even real. It ain't real. Half. <laughs> Half. I'm saying more. That's why that's why we doing that's why we doing ambrosia. And when you break down the word ambrosia, ambrosia means food 
and drink of the gods. And this is, when you look at Greek mythology, and you go beyond, because Greek mythology, of course, goes back to God, goes back to Africa, right? Greek mythology was, and what they said about Ambrosia was that the gods maintain their e immortality by eating Ambrosia. That's why we drinking that Ambrosia. So when I'm coming to you talking about Ambrosia, that's what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm giving you live food that's going to give you the ability to live forever. That's the whole piece, right? You know what I'm saying? And we're able to produce that. We're able to produce it from the rooter to the tutor. Now, we're at the point now where we're able to get the water and we're able to get the honey. But the point is we got to be able to produce that shit. Like he said, going back to having our own gardens, our own farms, our own bee, our own beehive, so that we're going to get our own honey and, and, and produce our shit. So that when we're talking about re uh, revolution, we're taking it to a whole nother level. We're not just talking about picking up no goddamn guns when we can't produce our own motherfucking food. And you can't produce, if you can't produce your food, you can't produce the bullets to, sh to shoot the motherfucking guns. Fuck a gun. Fuck if gun. you can plant a seed, it's fuck a gun. Huh? You gonna shoot yourself in the head. Up, man? Where my phone at, man? You Where need phone? another lover like you need a hole in your head. <laughs> Hey, 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 you know there ain't no other. This nigga broke Prince now. But go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, I got a song about it, like the head. <laughs> Here, Here it goes. Go. <laughs> That's how you sound like this So we music. just, right now, we just moved into a point you where. Sound like, uh, brother, I can sing. Brother, uh, uh, brother Allende, I stepped up into the my house. My brother so Allende in the house. Where you at? I'm saying, I'm saying. What's the brother's name? Um. Brother Hindu, it's a sit up in here, so it's about to expand well, the conversation because we're on this All right, hold on. This, I'm, I'm going to move because I, I hear they feel his balls is bigger he than anybody else's. And shit. Man, put your stick up. Ain't my big brother in the house. He, my big brother, we call him Sylvester. I talk to the booty cat. <laughs> you it to his teacher so you can look at it and respect that shit. And you sit up there. Show my sister. I don't give a fuck about it. No, I don't talk to her pretty good. She know now. On the real though, they don't know, the they don't know that we, we are live on the Jeremy journey on the porch in the hood. <laughs> Right, we in the hood right now. You know, I was supposed to be kicking it at this crippled. point in time. Crippled Avenger. I was supposed to be. We were supposed to be. Uh, I was supposed to be out kicking it with 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 with, with uh, those individuals, my family from all over the country that's coming in for the black, the black alumni. Um, oh yeah. Oh Ohio State. I want some black alumni. I'm not. I'm married, but I want some black. But uh. I want some black alumni. But my wife went to work, so I got to go where I kick it with my kids. I'm sitting over at my brother Allende's house, and we over here kicking it off of Livingston and shit. So y'all know we in the hood in Columbus, right? So, you know, we ain't concerned about none of the shit that goes on in here because these young motherfuckers respect and, and love us. But the PC is the brothers are here, and um, I'm interviewing um, um, C. Haiti Dawes right at this point in time, and he's breaking down some of the history far as the importance of the Haiti, uh, hey, the Haitian hey, hey. Revolution to the state of where we are. I'll you say. know, because this brother, this brother shares the lineage uh, with, there we go. with the spirit man that, in a sense, set the whole shit up. Because Who's what that? a lot of people don't understand is with the Haitian Revolution, the thing that moves black folks is not necessarily just the words, but it's the ritual. It's the rituals that connect us to something bigger than ourselves. And what you hear what you hear Shady Don's talking about is the fact of the rituals. So now, um and, and understanding the, the metaphysics all right, behind the rituals. Yeah. Alright? So um go on, go on, go on, continue on. So when y'all hear laughing and loud shit, it's my brothers that's here too, because we're kicking it. Go ahead. You know, um I touched on the, the food crisis 
But let me take me take you to another place. Let me take you to our what we've been taught to have as our so-called black leadership. A lot of us are under the impression that we're all in this together for the same principles, same things. But let's take a look back at like Booker T. Washington, W. E. Du Bois, George Washington Carver, and Marcus Garvey. Now, everybody has their own perception of what they've been taught. But in reality, do you really know who is really fucking down for our upliftment and our movement? Was it was it Booker T? Was it the T was it the Tuskegee so we Machine? Forward. We they all like, was it they all W the Boys? Was it George Washington Carver? Who's standing, whose shoulders are you standing on? Whose shoulders are you standing on? Was it Carter G? Stand on mine now. Stand on mine. Whose right. shoulders are we really standing on? Y'all have to do the math on this stuff. I mean, I know what we've been taught, but now we're of age. We're in the information we're age. Uh-oh. The information age. Uh-oh. We ain't been, been taught. We've been fooled. We've been bamboozled, but anyway, so we are in the information wake age. Up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake and up. We can, Spike Lee shit. We can teach wake each other. Up. We can actually go to each we other. We need some land. We need some investors. Have a conversation, money. have a meal, and break it down for real. Bread, break bread. Break bread, yeah. Break bread break and bread, make bread. bread. Break bread and make bread. Banana boo. You can't <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, have some banana boo. Yeah, have banana boo. Banana boo and bread. Banana boo and bread. Well, we'll put the bread in the banana boo because we got yeast. Okay, stop giving uh-huh. my secrets uh-huh. away. Uh-huh. Anyway, so. We don't want the yeast in the banana boo. So. We don't want no yeast in the banana boo. Carter G. Woodson. W. Du Bois. <laughs> George Washington Carver. Uh-huh. And Marcus Garvey. Look them up, beloved. Look them up. Yes. And Marcus see Garvey. who did what. See who Never actually did what. Never made peanut butter. Because what you think you know is only a portion no, what you need to know. of what is really going on with them entities. Right. No. Know, your, know where you're from. Right. Know where you're from, African American. Africans. Uh, first world Africans. I don't even say American. I say first world African. We first world Africans. Who are you, man? Why I'm a first world African. My name is Ayende. Afrique. Spirit walker. No, spirit walk, walk in. I'm walking. My spirit walk well, I'm the in. walker because you spirit walked me, remember? Well, I'm saying I'm spirit <laughs> well, Speaking of walking, you got a walk coming up, don't you? Yeah, 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 yeah beloved. October 16th. 5 a.m. The, 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 that's the birthday for the uh, Million Man March, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, 21st. The 21st birthday for the... And, and you're walking. Why are you walking? So people understand what's going on. What's going on with that? What, what's the name of the walk? Yeah, the walk is the walk of joy and pain. You know, at first, I was... It's called, it's called the walk of pain because I'm, physically I'm in pain every day due to due to my uh, right now. See, I was uh, man, you gonna make me say it, man. I mean, dude, so, I mean people, got to, people got to understand. You know what I'm saying? We you you need people. We need people to support the walk. We need pro- people to support this brother because he has a. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in 2011, 2011. All right, we got another caller. What's his name? <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? These. <laughs> 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 Why are we walking? Right. Nah, but uh, 2011, I was ran down 
And I, I was in a coma. You was ran down, nigga. Go, you, you gotta be specific. Down. You gotta tell the story. Nah, man. I, I mean, you ain't gotta tell the whole story, but you, you was, you was, was hit by a car. Back to the head, yeah. to go this back is gonna, to the head, go to he was hit by a car, and he suffered a traumatic, um, a a brain imagery. Uh, brain and uh, brain, brain injury. Brain injury. Who drink is that? Not just brain. His guts. You see the picture. His guts was hanging out. Oh no, the whole shit coming in the middle of his body too. I didn't know he that. He had traumatic body uh, injury. He had a traumatic blunt force trauma to the left side of his whole body. Uh, and he was hit by a Luckily, car. it wasn't too much uh, underneath his knees and his ankles. But. He, was, wait, hold on. And you survived? He died. He survived. He died and came back. But he told me the story was this uh, doctor. It was how many doctors? Four. Four doctors, but the one from overseas, from where was he from? Somewhere in like the Ukraine. Or something Ukraine, like that. that's what you told me. Somewhere. Uh, uh, no, that was the one that wouldn't quit. Wouldn't quit. Remember, he was telling me. He told us that. Wouldn't yeah. quit. He said you died. Then he said, "What happened?" That's a doctor. That's a doctor. Now when he told me that, I was, I was like, "Telling you that after he brought you back, you died. Yeah. You died. Now what happened?" <laughs> Oh, so uh, he's just waking you, you up, though. Is this real? That's a doctor. He cognitive. He was looking at your brain. But he gave were, you a I sentence fragment in a. It was a paragraph. It was a whole paragraph. That was a novel. When you told me that, That's see me, I was seen the world, man. I looked at world. I looked at shit different. And when you it's told me that, that I was there with you. I, I I I I hear the intricacy in that. I hear that. Because he's seen so the different part. Right. He's been somewhere and none of us. And he's told me where he's from. Uh, How long did I sleep? Seven when? weeks. <laughs> uh, seven no, weeks. they put you in this coma because of the traumatic, uh, because of the pain. Yeah. You know, pain will dry your mind uh, to, to quit. Yeah. And so that's, they know how to induce you into a coma, so yeah. therefore you're not cognitive. Yeah, that's all. But I, I yeah. mean, I wish it wasn't cognitive, but, I, you know, I slept for Dude, weeks. You woke up refreshed. I woke up. I, hey, I got, Shady I Dawn. Were you immobilized? I immobilized. Like, you were? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can me. Can move. Like, who? 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 Before this, but this I just, say, this, I this say. just uh, snap made it, made it real. So it's always because been. death. How can I put it? Your encounter with death. A lot of people don't understand. There's a blessing with rites of passage. There's a blessing. When we talk about true rites of passage. Rites of passage a should push you to a point of death because in order for the man to live, the boy must die. Death. I See, no, death man. is new life. No, that's that, 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 no, transition. No, no. No, we say this. With death comes rebirth. That's I say, I say. what we call sunu. It's, it's, it's a, it's a rhythm for that. Death and rebirth. The I, death and rebirth. You always die. Sometimes a true, per, a true, a true spiritual person dies every day and is reborn. But I had to a face dream. death physically and, and conquer the physical and the metaphysical because you're going to be having to, you have to use your mind. You mentally have to deal with this and your body has to e e exert itself through it. And that's it's why exactly. my heart breaks for you. Well, that's why I mean, my heart breaks for you. For me? Because no, I'm going to tell you, you I'm going to tell you what was real. You, you accept Don't break death. for me, my brother. I, I love you so much. I love us. I love us. All of us. That's what my heart breaks for you means. We got to change the language because what's love got to do with it anyway? Some dick. One more time. I had a dream. Love I had a dream right. because I've been going, reproduction. as we get older. Reproduction. Us beautiful motherfuckers you reproducing you don't need love and reproduction, raising though. kids. No, exactly. No, exactly. You, got exactly. you don't need love you hear for that. reproduction. See, yeah, reproduction, yeah. Is yeah. reproduction is a natural <laughs> physical <laughs> process. That's going to happen. No. I had, I had a kids. dream about, about heaven. You daughters. You and my dream about heaven was clear on this, right? It said this. 
my oh, in my dream, he see Jazan, I went yeah, to I, I I was in heaven. Um, and everybody in heaven was waiting yeah, to go somewhere gonna, else. We gotta change the whole conversation. <laughs> just like here. Radio. We waiting to go somewhere else. I love and the whole yeah, piece man. is you have to enjoy baby, where you are and do the best that you can Light where you are. Over here, you because you're you always gonna be going waiting to go to the next up. level. You know what I'm saying? You know what I, I explain that as? I think that's really passion. Well, I deal with her. I think that's passion. Though. Because animals, wild animals, mm-hmm. they experience passion. Mm-hmm. They do what they have to do with the current moment to get to the next moment. I say. And each moment that they experience is so passionate. Each hunt is, is more passionate than the first hunt. Right? Like a motherfucker. Each time I'm not a this lion busts a nut is more passionate than a nut. There's no love in it. It's just passion. And the passion is what drives us to survive, to get to the next Moment of passion. The next moment. That love thing is some shit that humans have created. Go on and on and on and on. My beat won't stop until the break of dawn. That was that was brother Hindu. Was he talking some pimp shit? Yeah, I was talking about wait a minute. That was a deep shit though. No, it was. No, because because we want to separate ourselves from the animal kingdom. And the PC is we got to realize that basically, when it comes down to it, we are we are animals. But we have the ability to think, and because we're able to think, we make yeah, shit more complicated than it really love. is. Mm-hmm. Now, I have a yeah. passion for working with people. Mm-hmm. So, whether I'm in this life or the next life, I know I'm going to be helping motherfuckers love push love themselves love. to the next level. Yeah. Hey, Most hey. motherfuckers get caught up in, so I'm, look. Looking for, I'm looking for this love. The, the mm-hmm. look. Right. look, speaking of that, this is what I'm saying. And the thing about it, I love y'all. Right I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck once if they, say, once they find they, they reach that love, they feel that everything is attained. See, but nobody ever reached that shit. Love. Man, y'all talking about that. Like, this but is your love. passion I'm... never dies. Mm. You know what? And that's what I want you to say. With me. Everybody say right now. One, Man, two, I, three. I, 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 My heart breaks for you. My heart breaks for you. My heart don't break for mother. My heart breaks for you. I, that We don't say I love you no more. It's it's. Dead and gone, man. Man, I love it's all y'all. Dead and gone, this. man. My nah, heart breaks for you. That's y'all. that's I don't deep give a fuck. passion. Passion. That's My a heart. passion. Oh, so you saying no real. love, like you saying I can't say. Nah, love. nah, 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 nah. It's language. See, you gotta so understand. You don't use the word love no more. You have to understand what etymology is, listen, man. Listen, look, listen, look, brother. You have to understand how language has been enslaving listen, look. your mentality. Listen, look. Listen, look. Listen, look. Talking to me, don't take two steps back. I understand that. I'm just asking about this code right here. Okay, this is my brother right here. You ain't gotta take two On the low, we call him Sylvester. Because I thought I saw a booty cat. I did, I did. I don't want to make it edge in stone right now. We going to edge. But Man, like, no, yeah, see, I'm actually right. understanding. Under, uh, but I already overstood right. that shit. Okay, let me, let me, like, can me, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can look at the motherfuckers' eyes, and, and when they say love, I see. Exactly. If it's yeah. And exactly. Or not. And by you being my yeah. big brother, I'm going to just on. let you know right there, right yeah. there, right now. He was old. He was big brother, your old ass. <laughs> I'm going to let you know right now. Right. Whenever you and I talk, <laughs> hold on, hold on, go, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, everybody. I'm the, hey, hey I'm nation, a, whenever me and this man talk right me, here, whenever me and this man talk right here, right here, let me tell him, let me tell you, for you to your, let me tell you right now, forever in a day since we was younger, let me tell you something I've never told you before. When I talk to you, it's mirror images. I talk to you like I'm talking, I talk to you. Like I'm talking to hey, the banana uh, the, uh, son how to walk. the uh, the walk. Superman Shit. fortress. Like there's me everywhere, and there's you about to make a, a mistake. And what I do is, what I do is, I don't ever, ever let you make the mistake. Me? I don't care what it's going on. Me? What's going on? Mistake. I don't know what that. I don't understand. Exactly. What's the definition of that? Exactly. You mistake. know. You know what you're doing right now. You can't. You can't, you can't evolve. You know what you're See, doing right the, now. That's the issue. In in this world, they teach us that mistakes and failure is wrong. 
You no, can't. It's not. You it's can't not. advance. It's not. And two, this so, is why I can I never learn to play the drums because in my in, in my mind, every time I hit an offbeat oh, no, and no, trying no, to play with this nigga Allende, I couldn't get it. You see what I'm saying? And the piece was, I, it wasn't that I couldn't get it. I made a mistake, and I wasn't able to deal with the mistake. You know what I'm saying? So when you try to master something, you got to mess up. And that's what we that's what we get all fucked up at, right? Like in revolution. I'm not mad at the past or what we did as far as the revolution, but we got to understand what mistakes that we made so mistakes. that we can make the step. That, that's not mistakes. That's but, contemplation. You you don't use the word mistake. No, I contemplate. They said the most high don't make no mistakes. No, nah, at all. But no, no, no. We no, contemplate we where be, we I fail. I want to break that shit down. I want to break that shit down. Uh -oh, uh -oh. I want to break that shit down. Uh -oh. Because when you look in African tradition and you look at like, for where example, when you talk Dogon, the Dogon, when the Dogon talk the, about the creation Dogon. universe, Dogon. Dogon. nobody the Dogon. ever, nobody Dogon. ever talk Dogon. about this with the with the with with, with the creation of the universe. Mm -hmm. See, in the Dogon tradition, That's or let's, I ain't even gonna say Dogon because I know some of you it's motherfucking smart. scholars out there, right? Because y'all gonna want to go look for mistakes. What I say, but in some traditional African beliefs, when they talk about the beginning of the universe, they talk about the the, the creator making mistakes, making mistakes and creating the universe. He had to make three and four tries before he got to where we are right now. See, Not the issue mistakes, is, the, right, it was a learning. It was a learning. The contemplation of the where you wanted to go. No so you have to go further. In a higher How are you going to get... So then, if you there lesson. now, if you here, so you made because this. All of these, all of these. So you cures, think that was the end of, of it? No, you're still contemplating. Sciences. So therefore, it goes on came further. Came of, quote, this unquote, contemplation. Y'all no, need to keep up. Y'all need to keep are, up. These are geniuses. It's contemplation that are making it's these mistakes. I'm contemplating. Well, these are rocket scientists. That are making, that are making these, these mistakes. mistakes. Right now, I'm keeping they going. They aren't mistakes. They're not mistakes. They're basically. It is what it is. It is we what do it, 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 keep it we do it, and we keep it moving. Yeah. Because we all do them all. We, yeah. Every last one of us. We are like, for That's example, I'm my, my birth would be considered if I was a state in the Western, in, in West Asian thinking, I, say, I, say, I was a mistake. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Right. My birth was a mistake. When in a sense, that shit was etched in the know, destiny know, of the universe. Every last one of us. You know what I'm saying? As black people, we know. Our parents didn't plan oh, for us. We're yeah, we here. You know what I'm saying? The, the universe makes it happen because it understands that the things that we eating. on this mortal mind say is a mistake Place of food, is something bigger and, and better than we can even understand. So what we don't understand, we call mistakes. We call failure. No. When in fact, the universe call that an opportunity. Oh, hey. Let's move it. Let's keep it moving. My pops, Tony West, I'm going to say it. I'm going to quote him. People say, how you doing? He said, I'm doing, doing. And he told me, I was like, the pops, I said, what are you doing? I'm doing, I'm keeping going, I'm, going, I'm, I'm contemplating, I'm keeping it moving. I'm doing. I'm doing. So, hey, y'all, create an opportunity to be a blessing, and then you'll be blessed. You just, man. See, that's all I do. That's all I do. You know what I'm saying? And we when see, see in the streets we call it fucking up. When I see, yeah, I'm, no, fuck, I'm fucking no, up. I, I never no, fuck no, down. No, <laughs> I fuck up. I don't fuck down. You know right. what I'm saying? And you, and you graduate. <laughs> I, you graduate. Next you graduate. Yo, you know man, you can go all, all yeah. out. Yeah. You know, and and and, and when we when we able to grasp that, we understand that. Man, we used to do when, this. We went to this on my block. We was like this. We got past fuck that. We used to be like this. Hey man, you be like this. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you just be like, no, we make it through. This is just the and 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 bro, so hey, you, man, got, to, you got you got you got Shady Dawn. Real okay, I don't even want. He wanna, talks about you know, like, the 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 the, got, the, uh, the accident that we will like, see in our life. Come together later, but as mm -hmm. as an accident, I'll but it gave him a chance. Though. To reevaluate where he was. When I was laying down in the hospital bed, it gave me an opportunity <laughs> to figure out what the fuck back. and why the fuck I was I'm here. You know what I'm saying? I always need that time. That's the, that's the power. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's the true power. 
That's why I love coming hey, together up? as brothers because, like I said, oh, I'm, I'm mad. mad. I ain't gonna say I'm mad. It's, on the, uh, it's crazy you do a fast that one. my wife worked on the night <laughs> okay, that I was supposed work? to be okay, out right, kicking right. it, but then I go to my brother's yeah, house okay. and I'm always yeah, able to come over here and kick it and bring my kids because my kids can go and I know that right, they're right, safe. Right. I can't take uh, them to a club uh, uh, and do this. Uh, they got us partying away from our family. That's, you know what I'm saying? Uh, now, if there is a such thing as a fucked up, that's a mistake. That's them. That's not us. Our ancestors and our creator lay it out so that we are able to come together and build like this. So, shit, I mean, for years. Now, he, because he's going to bring it to that. Because for years, I was talking about, hey, starting starting our own church. Because my whole piece was the, the, old, the old spiritual systems that we had. I ain't going to say they ain't good. Mm -hmm. I'm saying they're not they necessarily are. working for they're us they're at they're this reciprocal. point in time. They're reciprocal. But we they're reciprocal. Need, we need, they, they, right. They've been done before. Right. Exactly. They've, they've been stuck done in before. neutral now. And somebody they've been steps stuck in, in neutral now. and starts something new. I say. I say. They, they, they sow something down. It's reciprocal. It's not and, and repeat those yes. old, repeat uh, those old stories about about and that. bring that shit into this day and time. Right now, we are caught in a 2,000-year-old loop. Ooh. And we got to ask ourselves, <laughs> is this shit working? Fruity Loops. You know what I'm saying? So when somebody like like a Chatty Dons come and say, hey, I'm back. It can rain. You know what I'm saying? Loops. I'm back. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers don't understand because they don't understand that this is just a continuation That's of right. the crucifix. Uh, the crucifix. Crucif how you say crucifixion? The crucifixion. crucifixion. You know what I'm saying? This is just a re this is this is a uh, 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 um, um, a reoccurring of the crucifixion, and we right. can't accept it when it's right in our motherfucking face. So Stuck we look at it and be like, Stuck you're crazy." So when Brother Hatim is talking about, "Hey man, we need to change how we doing, and we need to look at these stories in a new way," are oh, you crazy, look, brother? We we ain't in, we ain't in drive. Crucifixion. We, we stuck in motherfucking Let me tell you what's about yeah, to happen. If we in the car. Hold on. October 16th. The car ain't even starting at 5 a.m. I'm going to take my first step out. in the nationwide yeah. awareness yeah. campaign. Yeah. I'm walk yeah. up Livingston. Why up Livingston in Columbus, Ohio? Because I'm living, son. I'm going to take the T out of Livingston and put myself on it. On the cross. Just to show you, if I can do this, yeah. just imagine what we could do. But hey, but hold on, tell that. Wait, but back, I have something. I'm gonna like, tell this you is that. something that happened. Like, I wrote you, this. Uh, hold on. Hold this on, is, hold on. This is Go something ahead. real little. It's something you heard this before. It's like something that I, a little text that I wrote to some of my dudes, like after a lot of people was getting killed. Your and dudes? Kinda, yeah, some of my dudes. Like some cops off of it. And so my, my hair. How y'all be fucking, man? Whatever the hell. Anyway. I'm talking about someone on the radio. Anyway. Oh, y'all on the radio still? I'm on the radio. We're done. We're done. I forgot we on the radio. It's fine. I forgot. But no, this is um, this is what I kind of just wrote to some people in like a text message because I don't do Facebook or Twitter or whatever. So I kind of just wrote this out. That's why I'm on the radio. I do it now. And so I was like, so, if we getting shot and killed, being the non-aggressor, <laughs> unarmed, right, legally armed, and armed with toy guns, <laughs> it logically only makes sense that we adjust mm -hmm. and evolve for self-preservation. A more aggressive game plan is needed. Ah, oh, shit. Mm -hmm. A shame. And that kind of what you were just saying, what Brother Atem was just saying, a couple of minutes but, ago kind of brought me to that. But and then you said like, we don't need to be irresponsible thing. in our aggression. No. I, just that's a more the aggressive thing. Game that's plan. But no, this is start shooting but, people. We don't you know what I'm saying? But we can't be irresponsible. We are just a more aggressive we've tried I'm saying we have to sit down, right. Right. way. Like he said, we tried the religion. The religion that's currently here isn't working for us now. It's not at so all. So something else needs to happen. Something else and needs to happen. And that's what made me. I got it, kids. It, it we got boys here. You're right. Yeah. I have my son. Yeah. So this is what I'm saying. But we got to be. We. I'm sure the, right. aggress the aggressive game plan needs to be responsible. We need to have uh, brethren. Uh, 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 that's able to hold each other. We each need to. Them. Right. Yes. We need to sit down and 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 and. and and, and we need to be uh, communicative with our block, our community, and with 
whoever mm-hmm. that needs to be. Mm-hmm. No, no. To be I, I, I disagree. I just di- I, well, I just I agree with you. you know what I'm saying, but I disagree we gotta have an inner circle right. and an outer circle. There you go. I'm saying, there you go. okay, we cool. We gotta do it. Yeah, just, just break saying. it down. See, because the inner the inner circle, the inner circle. We can talk this shit right now. We need to have But when we're really talking, we need don't need to be sitting out here on this motherfucking porch. That's what I'm talking. Oh, of course not. Right now we're just doing a podcast. But the piece, that's what I'm telling you. The piece that I'm saying is. Mm-hmm. The peace hey, to be right. We don't have strategy. You don't know what you're doing. But the peace that I'm saying, yeah. Yeah. the peace that I'm saying is, yeah. I'm saying is yeah. we got to be responsible. And 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 being I'm responsible means I'm able to respond. And it's yeah. this: yeah. when when motherfuckers violate. I got a cold. No, more than Violet that. Cold. We got pawns. We got, right. we got motherfuckers. We, pawns. Pawns. we got motherfuckers that will we help. We work that are built. Right, to have a motherfucking party to go back to jail. That's kind of how it was. There was a lot of self policing. Oh yeah. The, See, it was all self policing. All self policing. That's what we try to be. Each other accountable for right. everything. But right now, what we but, are, we in a culture brother, of brother, where they teaching so us. Hold on, they teaching us to be. Hold on, hold on. What they teaching us? Do as thou wilt. They teaching us do do for yourself. Turn what they've done. Also, they kind of did this. I think a little, a little bit. The ones that they made us look at the ones that need the most help as outcasts. Right. So they kind of have us viewing them as outcasts. The ones that have the most issues, the ones that have these drug problems, Mm -hmm. the ones that are, you know what I'm saying, have just any type of issue, they're outcasts. So we can't, so automatically all the media is telling us not to fuck with this brother. Or this sister because X, Y, and Z. So you know what I'm saying. Eventually, after listening to that shit, it becomes implanted in your right. mind. Come in. We need to have your no. ass on live. <laughs> He's right. Chest. We live. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you right now. I'm we talking we, about we are so like, like listen. Y'all need, to under, you need to understand. That's my mother. You need to, y'all need to understand. Now my radio, this this <laughs> radio show we doing right now. Motherfuckers, we I cut it off right now. About three motherfuckers might be listening to us, but within within the week. We're going to have over 100 people from all over the world mm-hmm. listen to what we're saying. Mm-hmm. Now, this is the point that I, that I need y'all to understand, right? Because I'm like, look, when we talk oh, about holding responsible, we can't hold the whole community responsible. Hey, but we need to have, our, as he said, that inner circle. See, because well, when those motherfuckers are able to make much. the decisions and shit, when they're responsible to an inner circle, they make different, they make different choices. We, the God that we serve right now, according to what everybody's saying, according to what everybody's saying, I'm not anything no goes. Matrix, in this world right now, <laughs> anything goes. In our culture, yeah, so that's what in I'm our saying. culture, we can't have motherfuckers like being able pocket. to be able to be like anything. Anything don't go, motherfucker. You need no. to you need to settle the fuck down no, yeah. before we handle you. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Because I'm right. Mind. In this culture, you can do anything. If anything you, you want. You and, and mess with little kids. Oh, you can do all that shit. Oh, and that's okay. Man. We all it's got. Real, we got bro. kids. Some of us. You yeah. might not have kids, but we all got kids. We got daughters. We and motherfuckers man, able yeah. to violate this, what I this talk shit. About. Can I talk about this? Fuck, Fuck all that victim shit. I feel like we talking about some victim shit too long. Look, I don't want to do this. I want to get some investors in to uh, buy some land over in Ghana or somewhere and do it my alpha. Uh, 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 now, but this is what I'm saying. Motherfuckers that's involved with that have to be. And we keep have to come be, back here and work. I don't I, care. Well, I'll, I'll build houses. Motherfuckers that's involved with that have to be held, as you said, responsible. Because well, if not. If not, what we have is we'll have motherfuckers that like to fuck little girls that go over to Ghana hold on, hold on. and turn us our motherfucking well, Listen, look, look, we'll deal with that in Ghana because no. I can't, I'll get judged here. No, I mean, but I'll hold drop their ass hold off on. the boat. But we already you, know. But hold on. on the way there. Man, hold these motherfuckers know. Like, no. no. But you already, but you already. Man, I don't want to think about that right now, man. I got my daughter. But you got to hold on. Hold on, you got to take a right now. Hold on. Well, that's too much on my brain. Right, but hold I'm on. too Don't passionate you, for hold this shit. Listen to me. I'm a drunk Listen to me. Listen, 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 to, me. Yes. listen to me. All I'm saying is this. This is what I'm saying. Listen. 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 We don't want to. We don't want to get to Ghana forward, and find out that the yeah, a motherfucker God, that's God, in our circle. We already knew it. That's going. We already knew it. We got to move smart. But I'm pushing. No, raises kids. This, I'm, I'm trying. To, I'm about, I'm about to tell you how to move smart. Listen to me. Listen to me. We got niggas. We already got niggas in our circle. Listen to, can I finish? We already got niggas in our circle 
We got niggas in our circle that are willing to lay it down right here. Yeah, no. right now. I'm not hold on. This the pick. This the pick. Don't bring it out of They don't have the guidance. I bring it out of me. They don't have the guidance. They're laying it down for some bullshit, right? I'm, when I say lay it down, I'm talking about we got, we already know we got niggas that's willing to do 18 to 15 years for some for bullshit nothing. for nothing. Now, now, if they know, 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 all this will hold up in court, man. I don't want to, what y'all talking to? We're not on that. No, you on the wrong shit. We can switch it from that specific topic, get it off of that, I got you. But what he's saying is a very valid point. We have soldiers we don't in our that, community you know, that are that shit willing Stop to die talk. for bullshit. A, a pound of talk. cocaine. Right. This is not push talk. You took this shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. A few ounces of heroin. Right. Right? These people are willing to die for something that they have been brainwashed to right. believe uh, hold up can give them a better life. Right. But if we are able to provide that better life, what the fuck they gonna do for us? You know what I'm saying? We, hey, this so motherfucker is raping little girl. Oh, nigga, I'm going to jail. You know what I'm saying, nigga? Wait, matter of fact, I just had a listen. I just had a cousin. I just had a cousin. Wait, I, we don't talk about. I just had. I just had a cousin who threw a party. He threw a party. Fuck jail. I'm not going to jail. We're not going to go to jail. You're not. See, you're not even. You're not listening to the big shit. You're not listening. I'm listening to the big shit. You are. You are the drummer. You no. already wait. Hold on. Listen to me. But we know we got niggas who are dedicated to the other aspect of life. I say. But look. No. But but they can let me still finish. do it. Not go to jail. But hold on. My point we is. We about our shit. My we point got money. Is, I'm telling you. My point you, is. Got, no, I'm my point you. is. And I'm on my own That's radio show power. saying this. We'll get there. But the no, point is, there, we, we got there. motherfuckers there. right now the that won't radio. say a word and will lay that shit down for 18 to 20 years Smart. if they know that we are willing and able to handle and take care of their that's families. And that's what I'm saying. We're just, people were talking about commissary earlier. You, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we glamorize this whole jail shit. But, but, we glamorize this jail shit when it comes to that bullshit out there. But when we build it, and the motherfuckers in here it violating and doing crazy shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm we have we 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 at a loss. We we have to wait for right. the so-called justice system to take care of them motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. No, I'm saying we got motherfuckers right now. I got sons right now that have spent You're a right. majority of their adult life in yeah. prison right now that yeah. will come out and yeah. be like, "Yo, I just got out." Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yo, yeah. yo, pop, Switch what's up? Right. I'm gonna go. Give me something. I'm gonna go back in and fuck it. You know what I'm saying? What I need to do. Until I'm able to get them something better. You know what I'm saying? We got these weak. They are, like he said. They are going to jail for a pound of uh, a pound of weed, yeah. um, heroin, cocaine, right. and they already kill killing people. motherfuckers. Nice. I'm saying if we got some shit where they could really do it, come on, they'll dedicate son. themselves. Like, come on, son. Here you go. You won't even have to ask. We got trained soldiers. And I even said something like about the dudes that you write about that. You put your work in for that. When the and dudes I, I appreciate that, that are out here, that, you know, like remember Donner, uh, Donner. He was uh, ex LAPD out in California. He was. Uh, he. They said he went crazy. <laughs> they said he went crazy, but what it was is that he. Donner? Who? Donner. He was in L.A. He was ex LAPD. Oh, yeah. He said that oh, they had tried the to kill him. He, he, yes. They had, he had escaped to the woods. He was. It took a, oh, a while brother. for them to find him. Brother. He was trained he was by the just by the U.S. military, and so that's fine. That's great. He has. And so, fast forward. I'm not going into it too deep, but dudes like that. Imagine how much knowledge he can give. To other people, right? And so what happens was, it, it probably was, you know, he's perching up, he's like shooting people, it's a lot going on, right? Let's just say he did have maybe a mental issue or something, right? Because he's, he's taking it super far, he's taking it all into his own hands, right? Like he's thinking he's a superhero. What if we get him, <laughs> we bring him in, we get him together, we get him meditated, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Over medicated and no, you not medicated. Meditated. 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 <laughs> right? Like we get his chakras aligned. Mm -hmm. And then he becomes like the head of the uh, motherfucking medicated. military. There we go. For the what, other brother. What, what is what is Western what is the Amer United States American military but a bunch of motherfuckers that are paid to kill? 
You know what I'm saying? See, because the, the the point the point we the point we had the point that we're losing out on is that we don't realize that there is a portion of our. Cause think about this. I guess what it is. We 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 glamorize names like uh, uh, Legati and shit like that. These was these were in a sense race soldiers. Them motherfuckers were hey. ta- for the Italians. You, you know, had the not Irish and shit. Us. You they know what I'm saying? But I'm not only they hate us, but them motherfuckers would do time for their shit. I'm slow, man. Their thing. You know what? But they didn't like I grew up them. like this, and I know this shit. And you see the movie? I realize now if we talking to the motherfucking phone, and we let we slowing it down for these motherfuckers. That's my, I apologize. I, I'm like, this is like it's redundant to me. Like motherfucker, for real, y'all really like we you gotta break the this choir. shit. Huh? You're the choir. You're part of the ain't choir. Ain't no motherfucking choir. Well, well, he's, he's, a he's a soloist. He's a soloist. Right. He's a soloist. But you know what? Be the I'm the organist, motherfucker. Yeah. I'm the pipes. Okay. On the motherfucking And the piece. Outside. The piece <laughs> is. The piece is. When we talk. <laughs> when we talk about really building. I'm the pipes on the pulpit. Because we can't do it. If everybody is able to do. If everybody is able to do. Their own thing. We'll never build. Now, nah, motherfuckers movie, used to make fun, and I bring this shit all Cat the time. Motherfuckers uh, said, motherfuckers <laughs> looked at JC's t shirt, but JC had a t shirt that said, Do as thou wilt. <laughs> motherfuckers get mad at that shit, talking about that Alistair Crowley and worshiping the devil and shit. But everybody else is doing, they, we call it doing our own thing. We're doing our own thing and shit. That's the same shit. It's the same shit. And motherfuckers can't pick that shit up. When you do your own shit, you can't nation build because an individual can't build a motherfucking nation. They got the women by having them thinking that they don't need men. They don't need men, so they're thinking that they can re- they raise can, children right. all by on themselves. Their themselves. They're right. thinking they can raise boys to be mm-hmm. men, and they can. Like it takes a village. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can't even raise a woman to be a woman to a certain extent, but it takes a man to give that extra. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That Just extra, to give that yeah. extra, oh. That extra, you see, because, and, and so they erase that shit up out of our culture. Mm-hmm. Because men are not held responsible. Nigga, you make the child. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You need to be, you need to be selective mm-hmm. about who you, in a sense, breed with. Mm-hmm. That's, when we talk about moving it to humanity and moving mm-hmm. it away from the animal piece, mm-hmm. we have to be responsible because an animal can just breed mm-hmm. and just leave its child. Mm-hmm. But a man, a man, an African We're man. We're humans. I ain't gonna say I. Fuck no. the uh, African man. Okay. Is supposed to stay there and make sure that his seed is able to take on his culture mm-hmm. and move it forward. And his name. And his name. Yeah. Not just his name. Well, let's say, let's say it's even a matriarchal system. You have to make sure that that the person or the being that you give life to is able to carry on. Mm-hmm. And that's what a lot of people don't understand because I take a lot of responsibility and I don't want that responsibility. Mm-hmm. I don't want to dedicate myself to that. You know what I'm saying? But when we do that, what we do is we leave an empty slate for somebody to come in and write and something write on that slate. On it. Write all on that's it. That's not even. That's not oh. even. Oh, that's fucked up. And we did. So now when we get into where I'm at, 48, I don't know how you are. 36. So when we get to this age, we got to go back and try to rewrite the slate that some other nigga done left. How you going to do that? How you going to do that? Reprogram. You know what I'm saying? The the work is so hard when you can do it from the beginning. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's easy if you do it. uh, uh, At at the baby. Right. You, my son right now, he asks for me almost everything. Well, yes, sir. Because I trained him mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And the young, men's, the young men that came to me, even when they was teenagers, they still respond to me as yes, sir, or what, pops, what up? Mm-hmm. What, what, you know what I'm saying? Yes, some sir. some show of respect. Some show of respect. Yeah. They look at me twice. Mm-hmm. That's all respect me. I, they mm-hmm. look at me again. They look at the essence of who I am mm-hmm. and what I am to them. Feel your energy. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. they know I'm trying to live. We trying to build. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people can't get that shit. Mm-hmm. And it's just, it's just do as thou will. Mm-mm. Fuck that. No. As a culture, we can't, do that. we can't do that. You shit. only live once. You only. Act. That's the thing that they're tricking these kids. 
You know, you know, you never heard that. YOLO. Yeah, I, I, is that what they mean when yes, they say? Yes, you only it. live once. That's some bullshit. That's what they're telling them. That's so they'll just go to. balls out. Go balls out. <laughs> Fuck everything. I'm just here for a moment. For so this I have to take care of this shit. I ain't responsible for the next generation. That's or it. Of that. They're tricking them, and they're come on. It's, and we allowing it. See, that's the problem. We allowing it. So when we start playing the drum and we start, mm-hmm. again, it's hard. We hard pressed. To get a, 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 a crew of a hundred motherfuckers mm-hmm. to get involved with the culture. Mm-hmm. But when motherfuckers out here doing bullshit, if we was out here selling Flopped. dope and doing all this other bullshit, mm-hmm. it would be easy. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker take a motherfucker life for, for, for shorting them on uh, an eight ball. You know what I'm saying? But let a motherfucker go and be molesting our children and shit. And we have to put up with that and shit. That's something. Like, but that's... Well, they talk to them. Right. Talk to them. No. <clears throat> No, no, gangster. Mm-hmm. That ain't no, motherfucker. That's mm-hmm. not how it's supposed to go down. Mm-hmm. In no form, mm-hmm. shape, or any, any, any. You can't have a culture mm-hmm. where motherfuckers is disrespecting yeah. the culture to an extent to where they will go to the seeds mm-hmm. and contaminate the seeds. Yeah. You can't do that. Mm-hmm. So we have to, we got, we at a point now where we're able to recognize the contamination and get rid of it. Mm-hmm. Get rid of it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But now we in the political correct talk and shit like that. Everybody so, try to be. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, so if I feel like a girl today, I go to the girl's bathroom. Oh and my shit. goodness. What? <laughs> Why is he right there? Uh, yeah, like Bruce Jenner. But shit. I'm going to leave that shit alone. All right. I'm going to yeah, leave that sir. shit alone. But go ahead, <clears throat> Mr. Dom. Let's break it down. Hey, uh, I'm going to just say this more, one more again. Brother Tim, Brother Hindu, and my estranged brother Allende, <laughs> my heart breaks for you. My heart breaks for you, and uh, it is what it is. And this thing called love, it'll cause you to do some. Incredible shit. It's incredibly stupid. Why? Well, I love him. I love him. So I'm gonna slash his You may, tires. you may love somebody <laughs> to death. And that's what? passion, as you said before. They, they yeah. love that's passion. And you touched on something very critical, and I hope you uh take this to the lab with you, lab with you when you uh rest this evening about love, man. Love. And that just came to me. Because brothers, the spirit was strong. You know, what if, what if, what if I had a deep love for you all my life, wasn't able to tell you how much I loved you because I did not want you to look at me in some kind of way. Because I don't want the world to see me Because I don't think that they'd understand When everything's made to be broken I just want you to know who I am I just want you to know who I am This nigga broke down the phone That's how we got Phil Collins I'm rocking man It's not rocking man Goo Goo Dolls. Who? Goo Goo Dolls. I heard that song. One, 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 and another, another, oh, 80s, another conversation, 90s, 90s. Yeah. Another, another conversation, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm I'm talk to you about love, man. Love. Yeah. Love, man. That's why my heart breaks for you. I tell you, we gotta change the language, man. We just gotta change the language, that's all. Once you see the language change, you'll see something else will change. And everything must change. And what's fucked up about that is, my conductor a long time ago told me we have to change the language. I man, oh, man, ain't that deep. Mazi has been telling me for years. Brother Mazi and Patachete told me. A long time ago, he said, nigga, we need to change the language. 
He don't even use the word nigga. He, he don't, that, that's far, but that's far beneath his ass. He never used nigga. But he was all, he will always say, man, we got to change the language, man. The language is messing us up. But the language is how we think. And we try to put all these things in, in these words that are very limited. We are very limited in this West Asian language. A lot of y'all, I'm going back to the lesson. Listen, look at Europe. There is no Europe. There's only West Asia. Europe is a, 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 a imagination of this Western world. West Asia, that's all it is. It's connected to Europe, I mean, it's connected to Asia, and it don't even exist. It's some shit that we allow them to, to separate themselves to make them feel special. When we talk about France, Britain, Spain, Portugal, um, England, and all of them, well, England is an island. All right, the island of England. That's the island they call it, the British Isles. So they can have they have, they have their own shit, but they're not part of the West Asian continent. All the rest of the motherfuckers are Asians. So fuck the bullshit. Can't fool me. But hey, this has been the Giami journey. I'm ringing the bell. Class is over. We just been kicking it. Oops. And thank God I got some good shit, a good phone, and I dropped the phone, but hey, we out. It's been 87 minutes, and I love y'all. Thank you for listening. With that, we are out.